What's up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, Ezeka Milligan, the villain, feeling oh so trilligan. We're back on Persona 3 Reloaded. Um, I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Hold on. Say it again. Wait, what? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, bad. Oh, yeah, we have a cold. Let me go to bed. I don't think I can stay awake any longer. I added another mod that takes away the cinematic bars because they was low-key pissing me off. I just came across it. Remember what I said? I'm not adding any other. I've been waiting for you. Shut up while I'm talking. I add. I add no gameplay mods. Everything is just visuals. How you doing, Zach? It's been quite some time since I last summoned you in your dreams. Several seasons have come and gone since I first offered you my assistance. Now then, your persona abilities. Have you been using them wisely? I think so. Yeah. To be direct, I sense a great catastrophe in your future. All right. That. Okay. But it would be a pity to lose one with such potential as yourself. Therefore, please allow me to provide you with a new form of assistance. I will unlock. Further secrets of fusion previously unrevealed to you. I am certain that you will find this to be of great benefit. Oh, you're about to do the yeah special fusions. I know P4 was the triad fusion, so I wonder what special fusion is. We're about to but see. For now, you must be tired. Please rest easy. Until we meet again. Farewell. <sighs> Excuse me on that. Oh my goodness. I seem to have slept for a long time. It appears the, the typhoon has passed through the window. The sky looks clear. I feel refreshed. Today is respect for the age day. The holiday lasts until the 23rd. Today is the movie day, right? We're taking, we're taking you, we're, we're taking you car to the movies. You car, you car. Come on, come on, Yukari. I remember last time you you was like, I, I I can't go. I'm studying, but ain't nothing to study today. There ain't nothing to study today. Let's just go. Come on, you're not studying. You're on your phone. You ain't doing nothing. You seem to be better. Why don't you go get some fresh air? It's really nice out. I might have my days wrong. Bro, still stalking her. Let's hang out, Micah. Hi. I'm so happy to see you. Come on, hurry, let's play. I feel like we can go close, grow, clo, clo, clo. Yeah, let's spend the day, come on. Oh yeah, we're gonna have so much fun today, let's go. Hey, come on. Let's play on the jungle gym. Bet. And the seesaw, and then kick the can, and then, and then, Let's play everything. I haven't been on a jungle gym in years. I know it's hard to tell. I'm so uh, muscular, so y'all know I be, I'm I be, tired. I got, I gotta be, you know, doing now those aerobics. No way you'll forget about me now, right? We played so much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like, I don't like the energy and aura coming from coming from the scene right now today i'm moving far away okay um dad told me i would always be his daughter that's sweet no matter how far away we're still family that's sweet so i don't have to be sad no need to be sad family is special you think I'll have a family of my own one day? I'm sure you will. Yeah. You grow up in your right mind. I hope. I like the way she talks. It's silly. Um. When I'm all grown up. No. No. I know where this is going, and I'm saying no. 
Y'all not about to catch me lacking. Uh-uh. Can we get married? Nah. What do you mean I'll think about it? <laughs> Why can't I just say no? Huh. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Nah, you, uh, you you gotta have to readjust that way of thinking. Uh uh. Take this, okay? I made it just for you. Bead ring. What is that? Someday, let's get real wedding rings. No. She just proposed to me. Hell no! Hell no! She gonna have to hit me with that uppercut because I am not accepting. Thou art I. I gotta let this rock. Yeah. Yeah. The innermost power of the hanged man arcana hath been set free. Yeah. We now bestow upon him. The ultimate form of the hanged man within thyself. Hey, fuse addicts, the god of sacrifice. Close your eyes, okay? What you mean? Don't close your eyes. I don't like where this is going. Oh, nah, <laughs> officer. <laughs> Officer! I was assaulted! Take her away! I don't feel safe anymore! Well, bye bye. Bye! We'll see each other again, okay? Criminal scum! I know it. That is not the way I wanted to end this social link. <laughs> this social link was so fire! Why did it have to end in such a weird oh, way? Hey, Yukari! Yukari, I just got sexually assaulted by a child. Please, please, can you make me feel better? Like, I don't, like, can you play patty cake with me to make me feel better? Uh, no, okay. Uh, screw you too. I'm not hanging out with bro. <laughs> what do you think, bro? I'm not hanging out with him. Who? No, I'm not free. I am free, actually. Not for you. Get off my phone. Don't ever talk to me again. Oh, there's a new recording. Okay, I figured. What the heck? Looks like Fuka's room. Hmm. I wonder if I should have gone for the One Piece suit instead. Oh, is this going to the, what you call it? The, the beach? These halter top bikinis look almost like underwear. It feels a little weird to have my belly button exposed. Now that I think about it, this is the first time I've chosen my own swimsuit. But there wasn't much of a selection for the one pieces. Hmm. I wonder if I should ask Yukari-chan again what she thinks. Although, I don't really exercise, so I probably wouldn't look very good standing next to her. Oh, right! I have just the thing! Bro, you look fine. Bro, make your bed. The low frequency waist slimmer pad I bought from Tanaka's TV show. All right, let's keep it pushing. It said online it was very effective for its price, so maybe it could do some help before the trip. You're already skinny. What do you need a waist slimmer for? You're skinnier than my forearm. Now let's see. How do I turn this on? You don't need that. Uh, no, this... <laughs> tickles. <laughs> oh, what do I do? <laughs> Why won't it come off? <laughs> this is so stupid. Yamagishi, do you have a moment? Oh, no! <laughs> it's scary, Joseph. Oh, 
um, am I interrupting anything? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's not that important. Oh, never mind. Just carry on. Oh no! She had the wrong idea. Oh, a senpai. <laughs> Is this what it means to train your <laughs> ass? She's so silly. I don't, I still don't know what that adds to anything, but you know, it was, a, it was a nice little silly thing to watch. One of your bonds, those made out of ordinary material, I can sense some sort of warmth from Marvelous. it. Marvelous. You have nurtured a beautiful bond, a precious irreplaceable bond. Please take this as a reward. Free use of space. What do you want? Hey. Let's go out if you got the time. Uh, sure, I guess. Yeah. I see. Come with me then. Two specials. Two specials coming right up. He thinks he's me with his hands in his pocket. Get your own style, bro. What's wrong? Not hungry? What you bring me here for, bro? Because I said I treat you. I can't go back on my word. It's bad for my conscience. I don't recall, but sure, thanks. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that, bro. Like, <laughs> sure you did. Here you go. Two specials. is you don't go back on your word especially when it comes to something you promise I promise to shoot you man let's eat right don't want the noodles to get soggy is this all you thinking earlier you really don't take any shit even from your elders I respect straightforwardness less trouble that way let's finish up and get the hell out of here is all he eat noodles, bro? I've never seen any him eat anything but noodles. Welcome back. Were you together? Hmm? Wait, Aragaki. Have you considered returning to school at all? It's been some time since second semester started. Regarding your attendance, it'd be best if you went back as soon as possible. <laughs> You ain't turning any paperwork? I got the paperwork, but I don't remember saying anything about turning it in. <laughs> Bro, just get your education! Oh my goodness! What's the point anyhow? I got no business there. Bro, just get your education! That's all you gotta do! <laughs> then why... why did you come back here? I never want to see that portrait again. It isn't my place to ask that. Everything is my fault. Oh, I that... shouldn't have gotten you or Akihiko involved. Your portrait is horrendous. I don't like the. Cut that out. I'm the one who chose to join you back then. However, things turned out after that has nothing to do with you. I didn't know what I was capable of. That's all there is to it. Then why are you so determined not to return to school? You'll be throwing your future away if you don't go back. Hey, let's calm down. Let's calm down. Let's, let's chill out here. Have a nice, respectable, right. calm conversation and discussion. I apologize. I was out of line. I don't plan on forcing you into anything like I did in the past. What's important is it's your own decision, Aragaki. Looks like you have changed. Just a little bit. You always used to avoid relying on people. Not so much of a lone wolf anymore, huh? The only choice we have is to keep moving forward. That goes for myself, Akihiko, 
and you. So please, Aragaki, just give it another chance. What are you guys up to? Oh, <laughs> where did this dude come from? Discussion. Let me guess. This president is lecturing the delinquent on the importance of his education. Akihiko. Well, I'll be damned. A protein-fueled, muscle-bound moron. You're pretty smart. What was that? See you, Miss President. This delinquent's gonna go to his room and think about his bad choices. Wait, we're not finished yet. Akihiko, why are you like this? What did he do? Huh? Wait, what did he do? Uh, what just happened? Was it something I said? I'm so... I don't know! Wait, I... I it looks... Makoto knows! I don't! Like... I, bad timing. I guess it was bad timing. I guess it was bad timing. <laughs> well, that's not my fault. It's nothing new. I'll just apologize later. <laughs> I don't care about his perspective, bro. Just get your education. I promise you're not gonna die if you go to school. As much as I hate going to school, you're not going to fall over, die, and have your penis fall off if you just go to school. <laughs> I'm about sick of saving lives, bro. I'm about this close to joining the villains, man. I'm sick of saving all these humans. <sighs> Elizabeth. Good day. I can sense. All right, 133 and 135. Okay. Shut up. 133, 135. All right, cool. Now I'm not picking up anyone else. There we go. Yes, we only went in there to save some lives. We're we're already sufficiently leveled. I'm sure. I doubt we're gonna get any good levels. Anyways, nine eleven. I hate the fact that I keep noticing stuff like that. I saw Yukari and I immediately just clicked yes. Wow, so this is what this place looks like. I never had the chance to actually look around. They have all kinds of stuff, huh? Is this a magazine clipping? Now, let's see. Cleanse your soul. Let's get purified with charm stones. Wow, that's a fun way to advertise themselves. Oh, look, there's something written on the wall. Let's see here. Choose your favorite color. It will reflect your state of mind. Hey. What's your favorite color? Uh, I like black. Hmm. Really, my favorite color is purple, but it wasn't an option, so... My second favorite color is black. Modest oh. choice. Let's see, people who choose black accept the truth. They are lucky to one day reach enlightenment. That's interesting, but it doesn't seem realistic. Yukari's thinking hard. I feel we didn't get any closer today. I don't know much about spiritual stuff, but I can see how people find it soothing. Oh, oh look, this one is so cute. The price is not so much. Shut up. My bad, I was talking to the dog. Uh, you know, I'll walk, I'll walk Kuramaru. I'd rather do that than talk to Amada. I don't want to go with Aragaki. I guess I'll talk to Amada. I'm tired of seeing Aragaki's face, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, what is he doing? Hey, what you doing in there? You talking your wood, ain't you? Ah, uh, dang, I done made him pull it too hard. Senpai? What was you doing in there, bro? <sighs> Am I interrupting something? <laughs> what you got going on? Oh, um... You don't think you're a little too young to be doing that, right? I think you're a little too young for that. You, you still elementary school. You gotta wait. You know, like, you gotta wait a couple years. I was just cleaning my room. That's cap. Sorry, was it too loud? That's cap. That's cap. Okay then. Good night. Um, senpai? What? Actually, there's something I'd like to talk about. 
Will you come in? Oh! A very modest room here has a hamster. That hamster looks stupid. Sorry it's so messy in here. This won't take long. I actually have a favor to ask of you. <laughs> so short. You see, I have a pet hamster. Okay. I got him when I was living with my mom, and he's been with me ever since, so I decided to bring him here. If, for some reason, I don't make it back here in the future, then this little guy will be all alone. So, could you help look after him if that happens? That won't happen, though. Of course. I have you guys with me, so I won't go down easily. Yeah, I'm not taking you into Tartarus anyways. But you never know, right? It was the same with my mom. Everything happened so suddenly. This poor kid. So please, I can even provide a little something as thanks. I'll give you all my allowance and the rest of my New Year's money. And I'll give you all the comics here, plus whatever else you want. I'll take it. Hypothetically speaking, what what does that mean? Where is he going with this? Okay, that works for me. Well, aren't you the lucky one? But when that happens, you better listen to him. Okay? When? When? What's his name? Uh, his name, it's Hamburger. Are you stupid? <sighs> Sounds delicious. I, I think I might want to take a bite. Well, you can't eat him. Who gonna stop me? <laughs> but you know what? I think my mom laughed and said the same thing back then. Anyways, thank you so much. That's a big relief. There's not much time left now. Sorry again for the disturbance. Could you apologize to everyone else for me? It's getting late, so I'm going to bed soon. Whatever, bro. Go to bed. Um, actually, can I ask you one more thing? Chop, chop. Everyone in this dorm is so kind. They always come up to me for a casual chat, and they treat me like a normal person. Sure, there were plenty of adults who showed concern for me, but I feel like the people here are a little different. And you came to check in on me again today. But why? Why does everyone here care about what happens to me? Because we're a team, bro. A team? I only just joined. But you already think of me as one of your own? You with the gang. I guess that was a weird question, wasn't it? Sorry, don't mind me. But maybe... I should have asked sooner. I don't know if I'll be able to fully repay you for your kindness, but I'll do my best. Okay then, good night. It's a shame that he an elementary schooler and he got to sit here and think about repaying kindness and 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 doing and doing stuff for people in return. Like, bro, when you a kid, all you the the only pay, only repayment you need, only repayment for other people's kindness you got to give is a smile, bro. That's all you gotta do when you a kid. You don't gotta be worried about, I'll give you this for that, all of that, blah, blah, blah. All you gotta do is be happy with the things people give you. That's how you're supposed to be when you a kid. It's a shame that you gotta think so grown up like this, man. That's a shame. He probably about to die soon, though. He probably got freaking cancer, HIV, uh, chlamydia or something. That's, but he about, he's gonna die in a couple weeks. Something like that, I don't know. Senpai! I'm really glad you came. Thank you. And I'm sorry. I won't let you down. He knows something we don't know. He like he must like he must be he must be dying or something. Nobody care about this. Those levels are already maxed. I don't I don't need you to try to max them out even more. It's been feeling a lot more like fall ever since the typhoon passed. I really hope that the fighting ends before winter comes. I'm sure it will. Uh -huh. I hope you're right. Hey, 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 hey. 
Oh, she bad. All right, everyone, settle down. Yeah. So, there won't be any more classes this afternoon. Yeah! But that doesn't mean you're free to goof around. It's time to work together and put away the culture festival displays and decorations. I'll assign you into three groups for the cleanup. The first group will go to the science lab. Your leader will be... Uh, well, blah, blah, blah. We clean up for the display. Okay, let's hurry up and get this over with. Uh, get this bum out of here. Roger that. Got it. Hmm, I guess this was the photography club's display. Look, I got a pretty good picture of you. Whoa, the guy who took first looks pretty suntan. That's Hayase. He's crazy fast. Of course, it's only a matter of time until I take him down. Not with your busted up knees. <laughs> You've already got him beat in the sweaty department. I swear, I've never seen you without your gym clothes. Then again, maybe you're the smart one here. Just walking around is enough to work up a sweat these days. I hate your voice. Hey, you guys can jabber all you want, but at least keep things moving. At this rate, we'll be here all day. Uh, sorry, Takeba. My bad. Hey, this got you all worked up. Nothing. Jeez. Yo, I brought two of the stuff. The nail puller, tape, and, uh... If you require a drill, I have one installed. No, you don't. Cool. Thanks, guys. Wait, hang on. Where's the bubble wrap, Iori? Bubble wrap? Oh, right. We gotta pack stuff up. Uh. Good call, man. You should go get it. You know where they keep that stuff, right? Well, yeah, but you're the one who forgot to grab it. Oh. Are you sure you don't want to go? That place is like a paradise, you know? Some fine chicas there would be just your type. Uh, what? No way. You serious? Give me the details, man. Bro, just get going! I believe I asked you all to hurry it up so we could go home. Oh, uh, sorry, Yukatan. Man, talk about an ace directive. Man, just do your job! Just do your job! Jeez, how stupid can you be? Mm, bro, I got social links to do, man. We gotta hurry this up. June pay? More like stew pay. It wasn't funny when you said it. I'm getting deja vu. Fine, I'll go to the supply room later. <laughs> Still, it's a real shame the culture festival fell through. There were so many cool events I was looking forward to, like the stand-up comedy duos. They said it was going to be open mic, so I was planning on trying it out. I would have booed you to oblivion. Oh, really? With who? Don't look at me. Oh, thank God. Hmm. Wait, me? You're going to just push me on stage without even saying anything? I'm just messing with you. It was actually Miyamoto. I would have just called uh, Jack O' Lantern and Jack Frost, honestly. Who, me? Help. Just another joke. Chill out, guys. I'll do it with you then. No. No. What? You too? This could have been our ticket to stardom. I'd rather be a bum than be a star with you. You all suck. We finished our cleaning. Going somewhere first. Bet, right, let's go. <laughs> oh, you're coming too? Great. Let's head to Polonia Mall. What do I want to check out? Hey, mind if I go 
you take a look at some earrings? Cool. I've been wanting new ones, but I can never seem to make up my mind. They're all so cute, you know? There are too many options to choose from. I know. Why don't you come help me pick something out? All right. Yeah. Come on then. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I've got a call. Dear Lord. Hello? Uh-huh. What? You're not doing it? You want my approval first? Wait, it's fine. You can do what you want to do. What I mean is, if that's what you really want, then go ahead. It's your choice, so you really don't have to worry about me. Obviously her mother. Then, you want to meet up and talk about it? Stop it, don't cry. I'll try to call you more too, okay? All right. Bye. And that was my mom. I figured. She apologized for everything that's happened. Your mom has horrible timing. Like, she can never just let us hang out. She said she won't get remarried until I'm okay with it. That's weird. I can't stop shaking for some reason. Oh lord. Can we sit for a while? Of course. I sat with Yukari until she calmed down. Sorry about all that. I'm fine now. I was just surprised. I never expected this to happen. I told her we could meet up and talk about her remarriage. I'm nervous just thinking about it. Do you want to see her? I don't exactly want to. I'm afraid it might get ugly. We haven't seen each other in almost 10 years. Dang. So it's not going to be easy. Bro, she really just dropped you off and left. Oh my goodness. I'm afraid I'll get angry and say something cruel. Still, I think it's time I try talking to her. I've been saying how wrong it is to run away. So I need to live up to my own advice. You know, I think she still misses my dad deep down. But she couldn't handle it. Losing someone so important to her. That's why she needed someone to lean on. I think losing someone you love and having to go on alone is really, really hard. I mean, my thing is like, she could have leaned on her child. That's family. She could have leaned on you, but she just threw you away and did. Like, come on, bro. I mean, I, 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 I'm all about forgiveness, bro. I'm all about forgiveness. So at least she's coming back with uh with a receipt that says I was low key, I, I was low key wrong for what I did, you know. I'm not sure how to explain, but I realized this after being with you. I think being in love means giving a part of yourself away. And that's a wonderful thing. <laughs> I mean, just in general, you know? Are you sure? Yukari's feelings are coming out. We've grown closer. The earrings can wait till next time. Let's just go home for today. I decided to go back to the dorm. A lot more times people lose consciousness. All over the news again, making me uncomfortable. What if it's all happening all over the world? What? Hey, don't say stuff like that. Number of unconscious people seem to be on the rise again. Yeah. All right. Let's get this. La let's get this last ability from Igus. Feel like my charm is increased. I don't really care. Um, I am going to upgrade my outer appearance. First, I will triple the current surface area of my armor plating. After that, I will repaint my body gold and add a large dragon to my back. 
What are you talking about? After reading this book, I came to a conclusion. This is what I have to do to appear strong and encourage people to depend on me. Outer appearances carry an influence that is beyond my ability to calculate. The main character of this story also carefully cultivated his image so everyone would take him seriously. That is why I'm looking into upgrading myself. In order for me to become more dependable, it's necessary I change my appearance. Don't you agree? What's important is attitude. Attitude? So that's what takes priority? Oh, could it be? I apologize. Please forget what I said about upgrading my appearance. Seems I had the completely wrong idea. Completely wrong idea. At one point, the main character of the book says, Can't have people think I ain't cool. Until then, he'd put so much effort into his attire, yet he goes to raid his rival's territory wearing nothing but a shimekomi. Thanks to you, I finally understand. <laughs> Good job, Igus. What's most important in life is having a strong heart to stay true to your beliefs. Yeah. Therefore, I will also follow what I believe in. I may not appear dependable, but don't worry. I will adjust my attitude to reach maximum energy output and to increase my ammo stocks by 50%. That's fire. Yeah, let's go. For some reason, I feel like going to Tartarus and raising some hell. Shall we conduct a raid? <laughs> oh, it's gotten so late. It doesn't seem like we'll be able to go tonight. How unfortunate. I'll just return to my room then. Good night, I guess. Good night, I guess. <sighs> what, what is wrong with her? What is her issue? Let's get on with today's lesson. Kifu Mio I Muna Yoko Tama Mochi Ro Ro Rane. How you doing? Hey. I was hoping that you had time to talk right now. Yeah, we could talk. Thanks. This isn't the best place for that though. Let's go to the roof. If it's nothing, I'm leaving. Hello? Y yes, I'm here. Oh, sorry. Don't scare me like that. I ain't scare you like nothing. Oh, there's something I want to ask you. Okay. Um... Why do you spend so much time with me? It's gotten you into a whole mess of trouble. And honestly, some of the stuff I've said is really not okay she hasn't said too much crazy stuff has she i mean she said the one thing where she yelled at me for helping her but that's all i can really remember that was like questionably like okay what's your problem you know and she apologized for that so i don't really i'm not i'm not i'm not comprehending this line is it because we're both persona users or are we actually good friends or do you, by any chance, have feelings for... You call your voice is trembling. I better choose my words carefully. What do you really think of me? I love you. <laughs> yeah, hold on! What? No way. Are you serious? You're not pulling my leg, are you? Nah! Oh, she crying. <laughs> Sorry. It just feels like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. The tears won't stop coming. 
Hold on, dry them eyes. Uh, hug. All right, that's cool too. That's cool too. You're so hard to read. You're always so kind to everyone. That's why I thought you saw me as just a friend like everyone else. Lately, I found myself getting upset when I've seen you talking with Fuka. <laughs> made me scared that I was turning into a petty, jealous person. I felt awful about it. Yo, this is cool and everything, but I want to know what's going on with her and her mom. That, like, they're not just going to completely drop that whole, like, plot line, are they? So, um, I'd like it if you had eyes for me. And only me. You already know. You already know. You already know. I can feel Yukari's affection. Your affection. Enter the special relationship with Yukari. Your affection. Your affection. There's no going back now. So, will you? Oh gosh, what am I saying? I'm gonna go now. Yukari left. I decided to go back to my room. Back to my dorm, back to the dorm. But back to the beach, back to the streets, back with the heat. I, I could probably get a, 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 a move for Shinji, actually. <laughs> I brought too much, guess I'll freeze him. What are you standing around for? Aragaki's cooking skills are on par with that of a professional chef. If I get him to tease me, I might be able to make some delicious food. Tease me how to cook. What? Why should I? <laughs> Don't think I'll go easy on you. Bro, you're just teaching me how to cook. It's not this serious. I haven't caught Tadon again. Got it? Don't give me that look. We got a lot of pork because it was cheap. Part of me thinks starting with fried food might be hard. But the basics are pretty much the same. Fried food isn't that isn't that difficult. You're a real oddball, you know that? Asking me to teach you how to cook. I mean, you know how to cook, and I want to learn how to cook. What, should, what else should I do? Ask somebody who don't know how to cook? Why do you want to learn so much? Because I, cause I want to cook! Bro, I, I care about my health. What's the... <laughs> Why are you asking? You do, huh? Well... Good a reason as any. I want to eat some good food. I like tasty I stuff. I cook by someone else too. So when I see someone who wants to learn, I can kind of relate. All right, that's enough rambling. Let's get started. You're gonna do it yeah. this time. So first, get the meat ready. When you're frying something, stick a chopstick in the oil and check for little bubbles. Wait, you're putting on too much heat. The meat ain't gonna taste good if it's too tough. Pretty good job, considering it was your first try. Thank you, my good sir. You still got room for improvement, though, especially in the way you handle the knife and fryer. But if you're serious about it, then just practice. All right, let's clean up. You ain't done cooking until everything's put away. So don't slack off. Never been to a place like this before. I didn't know it would be so much fun. I don't think I was very good at racing games, though. I kept trying to stay under the speed limit instead of going fast. I'm probably not very good at driving in general. I have a hard time reacting to things quickly. What about you? Are you planning to get your driver's license? Uh, I am. Well, when you do, maybe we could go on a small trip. Somewhere far away with everyone on the student council. I've never really done a trip like that before, so I think it'd be fun to try. She seemed to be having fun. I think playing with arcade game me thirsty. Do you mind getting something to drink? You want me to go get it? Oh, we went to a cafe. I was gonna say, like, you're not you're not about to just send me send me over to a vending machine, have me bring you back a drink, like my lady. I'm not doing all that. Oh dear lord, what's happening? Good evening. Oh yeah, it's a week away. What's up? 
I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but there's only one more week until the full moon. I hope nothing serious happens. But that sounds like a threat. Never be sure what the future holds. That sounds like a threat. You ever you ever had somebody be like like oh you're so pretty, I I hope you don't die in a car crash. That oh my, it kind of gave off that kind of vibe. Like it just felt like a threat. Be careful out there, okay? All right, bro. Remember, I'm always looking out for you. I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him. I don't think he's threatening me. I'm gonna trust him. I've been thinking this before, but you look in Tartarus, you always see the little, the little um crow leaves falling all over the place in Tartarus. The same things that um that are, I, I'm pretty sure those crow leaves are like be surrounding him sometimes too. So I'm like, hey, maybe it's connected to the shadow. What is his issue? What is his deal? But I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him. We'll meet again. I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him. By the way, someone in my neighborhood actually has those symptoms. Yeah, exactly. There are a few in mine too. I'm scared. They said on TV it's not contagious, but I feel like it's a sign of the end of the world. Ah. End of the world. There's no way. What you talking about, I guess? The moon will be full. We'll s oh my god, this is his heart! The moon will be soon. Will soon be full again. Have you prepared? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Welcome, I'll come with you. And then what happened? And then I shot him in the foot, right? And then he did like a little backflip, kickflip, handstand, cartwheel type maneuver, right? And so I I I I just kinda ooh, weave, weave, hold on, what was it? Uh 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 duck and j duck and jive, right? No. It was uh, uh whatever that dude from um Super Punch Out used to do, that Jamaican guy. I was like, weave, weave, weave. And then I said, "Bow!" like that. Had him like uh, Mr. Sandman when you beat the game, right? And then I said, I, I, I pulled out a Glock, right? And I said, bop, 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 bop. And then I woke up from my dream. And I was surrounded by 30 homosexual parents. And the tale just goes from there. Hey, just one more week. Yes, Aragaki, just one more week. I wonder if Mitsuroki cook. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, she just makes tea, I forgot. If you wanna go ahead, yeah, I'm gonna go on and do this, because next time I'll, I'll get a skill. Next time I'll get a skill from her. It feels nice being able to pour tea for someone else like this. Man, I like when she has her hair up. She looks so pretty. Oh, my apologies. I'm supposed to be the host, and yet here I am thinking about myself. How about you then? Are you having a good time? You know, your boy chilling. Your boy chilling. <sighs> that's good to hear. Chamomile is known for its relaxing properties, so maybe that's taking its effect on you. I was actually a bit worried that I might be putting you off. Apparently, the popular opinion is that I'm difficult to approach. You are. I'm just built like that, though. We're running low on snacks. I'll have to ask my staff to actually. Oh, never mind. Here, let me pour you another cup. I drank herbal tea with Mitsuru as we discussed our favorite snacks. All right, I think that's enough for now. We should start cleaning up. I'd like to invite you for this again, if time allows. But for now, let's head back to our rooms. I want to imagine 
these fights and like, these shadow fights with the items, right? I, I like I want to imagine them in real time, right? Makoto runs in there. He gets walloped upside the head by a shadow, knocked out. He like bro's bleeding from the side of his skull. His ears dripping in blood. He, he's got he, his 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 skull is exposed. And then he pulls, and then out of nowhere he pulls out a cup of tea. He drinks it, and he's fully healed. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh my goodness. Are you going home now? Did you know that Suda counts as a street fundraiser every year? I'm actually going to start prepping for it, prepping for it by making some flyers. If you're free, do you think you can help me out? Let's go on and max her out. Let's go on and max her out. Thank you for taking the time to help me. No problem, Mo, bro. Did you know that if you want a space to do street fundraising, you have to send the application two months in advance? I didn't ask for this information. I wonder if this is going to be enough flyers. Uh. Nah, she wasn't forced into this. She had her character development. She's standing up for herself now. We don't gotta worry about her. We don't gotta worry about her getting forced into stuff and being scared to talk back, you know? She's strong now. She good. We don't gotta ask that question. Looks tough. Yes, it is. But this is what I signed up for. The student council president mentioned the street fundraiser before. And now that it's almost here, I asked to be in charge of it. I told you she wasn't forced into it. Ever since that business with Mr. Takenozuka got resolved, I felt more confident. Or maybe proactive is the better word. I can even talk to the boys in my class now, too. Well, a little. Anyways, running this fundraiser is just the beginning. From now on, I'm not going to be afraid of trying new things. I'm so proud of you. Oh, but, um, I'd appreciate it if you could still help me every now and then, just like today. I believe in you, Chihiro. Yes, thank you. Oh, that reminds me. Do you remember that illustration collection I found at the bookstore? Apparently, someone ended up buying it. I checked the other day and he wasn't there anymore. Dang. But for some reason, I'm not sad about it. Hey, that's you. I would have been pissed. I, I probably would have caught bro lacking and robbed him if I ever found out. Like... As long as whoever bought it is happy, then I'm happy too. That's the right way to think about it. That's not how I would think about it. Um, I'd like you to have this. It's a collection of manga short stories by the same artist. I bought it a long time ago, and I read it so many times that I've practically memorized it. I'd like this book to be read by all sorts of people too, just like that illustration collection. I'm sure that's much better than me just keeping it for myself. What a selfless person. Could I ask that you be the first of those many readers? Thanks. When you finish reading it, please pass it on to someone else. Nah. Maybe it would be a good idea to hand it off at the bookstore. It's not in print anymore, so you'll never see it in new releases. <laughs> Thank you. I'm never giving this to nobody. I'm respectfully. So to have met you. That book couldn't be in better hands. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost path of the Justice Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the justice within thyself. Don't give me no bull crap. Woo! Mel. Melchizedek. I don't know who that is. Ah, there she is, Fujimi san. Um, are we interrupting? 
No, not at all. Did you need something? Well, the student council led a street fundraiser a while back, and they asked for regular students to participate, right? We were curious about maybe learning more. Do you have any information on that? Of course, I can help with that. Look at her. Look at her go. Oh, thank you again for helping me today, Senpai. I'm sorry I ended up taking so much of your time. I'll handle the rest by myself. I can tag along. I can do this on my own. It's just a little bit of talking. Um, if the timing is convenient though, let's walk home together again sometime. Okay, go ahead and fill out your name and class on this form. Now, as far as what you should expect on the day of... I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. After I put you here, I headed back to the door. I'm so proud. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I'm so, 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 I'm so. Is that Shinji downstairs wanting to cook something? Yeah, let's get that skill. One time I brought a lost kid at the strip mall to the police station. It turned out he was the son of a fishmonger and he thanked me like crazy. So why am I even telling you this? If you ain't in a hurry, go wait in the kitchen. I'll be there later. Yeah, let's get this, um, let's get this skill. A box full of sawdust? Today, we're using that to make tempera bowls. Go ahead and take out what's in the box. It's a box of shrimp. Living, wriggling shrimp. Getting these delivered is a royal pain in the ass. So I went and got them just now. I'm gonna get the other stuff ready. You focus on prepping those guys. I don't know how to prep shrimp. I I'm allergic to shellfish, so I don't know how to prep that stuff. Uh, leave it to me. Yeah, it's all you. I'll handle the first one. So pay attention and just do the same. Don't you like, you gotta stick something like in between the body and shell and then like kind of pry the shell off, right? I think I've seen it. We work together and finish the tempera bowls. The taste is pretty good. Although I guess we did use good shrimp. We've gotten a lot better too. More comfortable with the knife and fryer now. What you gotta do now is keep practicing. I'm better with a sword, honestly. Get the basics down, and just find the right way to cook the stuff you have. And that's how I was taught. You had a great teacher. <laughs> More like a stubborn old man. A long time ago, I used to work part-time at a restaurant. The manager drilled me on how to cook. Gave me so much shit back then, but when I think back on it now, it wasn't really a bad experience. He always used to say, learning to cook is the first step to supporting yourself. That's real. But not only that, if I didn't know how to do it myself, I wouldn't be teaching you like I am right now. I ain't gonna teach you every little thing. I can at least be here to show you how it's done. It gives me something to do, too. All right, Gaki has a genuine smile on his face. What do you got? Temporarily increase the attack and defense of self at start of battle. That's hard. Oh, right. Let's eat up and then put everything away. Ultimate temper. Back to your room once you're finished. I'll handle the cleanup. Thanks, man. I'm gonna give some to Cora, Chuck. I gotta make Koromaru's dinner still. You got a problem? Bro got caught being a dog lover. He a little embarrassed. Morning. Sup, dude? How you doing? Pretty good. <laughs> nice. I'm doing fantastic. Let's own that next shadow and make the world a better place, yeah? Uh, let's finish Yukari's social link. 
and then we can finish this um, episode. Are you walking by yourself? I'll come with you. Yukari wants to walk home with me. I feel as if we if we can grow closer thanks to the lover's persona. Yeah. Dang. All right, never mind then. It's gonna it's gonna take a second before we can get <laughs> before we can finish the what you call it. It's finally time to break out the winter coats. They're so heavy, my shoulders hurt. Label pin in my pot. At least I found my label pin in my pocket. It haunted me forever. I couldn't find it. You know what? My shoulders have been hurting lately too. I'm, I'm hearing weird voices, and I've also been getting headaches. Ah, yeah. uh, dang! She's about to be lost. Oh no! She's gonna wander into Tartarus. Not that I really care though. I don't care. Did you fall asleep in class? I'm keeping an eye on you, mister. Hey there. Oh, hey there. I'm about to head home. What about you? All right, time to finish the social link. <laughs> in that case, do you want to come to my room? I'm so nervous for some reason. The others are here in the dorm, too. I hope no one finds out I snuck you into my room. They'll hear me if I'm too loud. <sighs> Wait, I didn't mean it like that. Don't get the wrong idea, okay? Too late! Hey, you don't need to say it. Jeez. Whatever. Oh, right. I wanted to give you something. This is for you. Let me have it. You car strap? Hold on, wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't know if I want that! <laughs> you know what it is, right? It's the strap from my cell phone. I got it at the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. That's sweet. It's been my special keepsake for years now. Because my dad bought it for me. I used to talk to the little charm attached to it when I was alone in my room. That's sad. <laughs> you must think I'm nuts, huh? I talk to myself. I'm... But ever since I got to know you, I've stopped talking to it. It means a lot to me. So I should explain why I'm giving it to you. I'm only going to say this once, okay? I... I love you. Ah. That's it. Yukari has professed her love for me and seems to want mine in return. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. Yeah. The innermost power of the lover's arcana have been set free. We now bestow upon you the ultimate form of the lovers within myself. The lover's social link has reached the maximum level. I confuse. Cybele, Earth Mother. Hey, when this is all over, maybe we can spend some time together. Just the two of us. In fact, would it be alright if I jumped the gun a bit and took some of that time right now? I'm not ready to say goodnight yet. Yo! Hold on! That's sweet. <laughs> I'm blushing, aren't I? I shared a special evening with Yukari. Where's bro staring at the desk for? Sup? First year episode, guys. If you enjoy, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I read them all. And boy, we got some stuff done today. We got we 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 let we got Junpei and Akihiko caught up to our level. We maxed out three social links. And that's it. 
But you know, till next episode, we gonna get to the um, we gonna fight the little shadow shadow thingy, my dicky, on the better better for the full moon. And we gonna, I, I guess we gonna see what's going on with Shadori too. All right, well, peace out. I love you guys. Tap into the next one.